What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to the Scheme of the Week defensively this week. And, and this week's playbook is going to be from the Pittsburgh playbook. And it's actually a special scheme because, as you guys, some of you guys know, if you guys are on MaddenTips.com or members of their website, one of their new playbooks that are, is coming out this week is the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook. And I wanted to shed some light on a formation. I haven't actually gotten an opportunity to see the guide yet, but uh, I know that one of the Pittsburgh Steelers defense is 3-4 base. And, and one of the schemes I did earlier didn't get an opportunity to finish it because some some technical difficulties and stuff like that but we're going to go over it again and um the play is uh or the not the play but the, the formation is a 3-4 over and i don't know if i don't know what all they did on their guide i know they concluded a couple of uh, really good formations out of this i'm going to try to stay away from those formations and focus on this one so you guys can see what i like to do out of the pittsburgh 3-4 playbook and more specifically the 3-4 over so this week's scheme of the week is a 3-4 over defense a defense i really liked last year and was actually my first ever video on youtube so let's hop into this this 3-4 over formation and the base play that we want to come out in is the sting pinch zone. And what we're going to do with this as a base play is we're just going to base a line. We're going to press coverage. We're going to spread um, we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line out and we're going to reboot both outside linebackers. All right, so we're sending six guys at the quarterback and at step of the ball we're definitely going to get one guy free. See we get a guy off the off the left edge. Now, obviously, you know, if you if you are Worth anything in Madden, you know that the 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 main main concept is to get two guys free sitting six, and we're we're sitting six, we're only getting one. But um, you you have potential. I, I will say this with um, just be aware of this. You have potential to be able to get five free without having to send five. So in this situation, we're going to do everything we just said to do. We're just going to drop Bowman into a deep blue zone. And that snap the ball, you see, we don't get a guy free, but, man, they come in pretty quick. They get a block shed fast, and with the right depth chart set up, we don't actually have our set our set yet, but with the right depth chart set up, um, this could be a very viable option uh, for pressure out of this 3-4 formation just because it comes in so quick. I mean, they may have time to hit a smart route out route. Outside of that, they're not going to crush us deep. So... And we have this, uh, you know, assured awesome coverage from the stink pinch yellow zones we really like. And I just really like this as a base play. You know, it may not be it may not be a, a package or a base play that you're going to get from a nominal pressure and you're going to get a guy free every time. But I, I'm, for one, telling you guys that this this package is going to get you interceptions on routes you never thought you could pick off. Um, this, this package is going to get you. It just is a very good formation, guys. And... It's just going to align well, and I'm telling you right now, with you, user, and Bauman, you can go wherever you want. I mean, this, this has really good middle coverage. A lot of people are struggling stopping slant routes and, um, and, and in routes, deep in routes, and, and post routes more specifically. And this is just going to do a great job of, of stopping that. You know, we can man align these zones, and that's one thing I really like about this is we can man align this play, and it, it all works properly, and, and the pressure just gets in really fast. Now, if you want to get a guy free, here's what you need to do. Uh, baseline press, shift your defensive line to the left, crash your defensive line out, re-blitz both outside linebackers, take Bauman, put him over the center, and hold L2. And snap the ball, you're going to hold L2 at the center, and you see you're going to get guy free off the left edge. Now, that's very simple to adjust to, and again, it's all global. You don't have to manually click on anybody, so real quick, let me go over that again. Baseline press, Crash your defensive line up. Shift your defensive line to the left. Re-blitz both outside linebackers. Put Bowman over the center. Put him in any zone you want. Hold L2 at the snap of the ball. Sit there for a second and then drop out. And you're going to get left edge pressure. Now, I don't like doing this uh, just because you... I feel like I want to... You know, I'll do it every now and then for my personal... If the game, if, if I'm in a situation where it calls for it... But in my in my opinion, I want to give you guys plays that you can adjust out of, and you don't have to you know do a certain adjust. You know you don't have to have use be able to use certain people. You can use whoever you want, and it still be effective. You know, see here if we don't use our Bowman, uh, it'll still come in sometimes. But the problem becomes when they slide protect left. Um, when we don't use our Bowman, if they slide left. So something like this. I mean, it's... Oh, it came in again. I wonder if they patched it, because it wasn't coming in earlier in the season. Huh. Well, I guess you don't have to do... Maybe it was the play-action block. That might have been it. Oh, crap. I don't have a PA. Here we go. Here's a PA. 
So we'll put everybody on a route on this PA. Set the same up. And put Bauman in the zone. And there you see, yeah, that's what that's what stops it is that PA blocking. So like I said, you know, if you the the first setup I gave you is probably my favorite. Um, spreading the defensive line, crashing them out, reblitzing both linebackers and, and zoning Bowman out. Um, the second setup I gave you is good, and it will get pressure in, but you have to use her a certain guy. You have to, remember, you have to use her Bowman over here. And then the third setup I gave you is real is probably the best overall because it the p play action blocking will stop it, and that's the one thing I don't like about it. But you get to do whatever you want. You get to use her whoever you want, and you still you, you have potential to get pressure off the left edge. So, just know that, but, I mean, it's, it's just a really good play overall, guys. Stink pitch zone, base play, been the base play for years for me. Arguably one of the better plays in the game, and, you know, there's some things that we can do. Um, as we get more into this scheme, we're going to show you some, some different ways that we can send heat. So, thanks for watching today, guys. I really appreciate another great opportunity to share with you guys. It's going to be a great week, breaking down the 3-4 defense, more specifically the 3-4 over. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And be sure to check out mantips.com. Their e-guides are on sale right now. You can get them for a discounted price on Wednesdays. Or you can actually buy them through my uh, – I have a link in the description that should link you to their winner's kit. Winner's kit's going to get you, I think, seven. I think they got nine or ten guides coming out this season. So not just the Pittsburgh guy. It's going to get you five other guides. Uh, Problem, who won the Madden Challenge last year, contributed his 46th defensive guide. So you guys have plenty of opportunities to find really elite comp uh, elite players who are breaking down their defenses. So be sure to check out mantips.com, more specifically their e-guides, and more specifically the winner's kit. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. And and we'll see you guys later.